Ever feel like your computer is about to blast off like a jet engine in the summer? Fans roaring, screens lagging, and maybe even shutting itself off? Yep, that's your PC screaming, I'm too hot. Today I'll show you how to spot the signs of overheating and the fastest ways to cool down your computer before the summer heat fries your tech. All right, so let's start with the warning signs that your computer is overheating. Loud, nonstop fan noises, that's a bad one. Programs freezing or taking forever to load. And then if your laptop's feeling like a hot plate, if you put your hand on it and you can barely keep it there, that's definitely a bad sign. Random crashing, so if the computer's just crashing on its own or shutting down all of a sudden, that's definitely a sign it could be overheating. And then pop-up thermal warnings, it might just straight up tell you on the screen that it is in fact overheating. That's, that's an obvious sign that, right, it, it's overheating. If that's happening, your CPU might be climbing past its safe zone of the 185 degree Fahrenheit uh, mark that they, they set, right? So that's kind of as, as high as you want to see it go. Anything above that for too long could equal bad news. Now, that's not to say that it can't handle that temperature for just a little bit, but it really shouldn't be that high. And again, if it's that high for too long, it's going to cause major problems. So now the question is, is it your software or is it your hardware? Because it can actually be either one. And here's how to tell which one it is. You can do outdated drivers. You could check for those. You could update them. You could check for buggy programs and too many background apps hogging up your CPU power. You could check that in the task manager. And then, of course, just keep your drivers and programs up to date to try to avoid it. But again, if it's a software issue and you do some of these things or even like a ReOS of the operating system, it could fix the software side. But if it's a hardware issue, we're going to have to get inside the machine. We're gonna have to clean the dust clogged vents. We're gonna have to check for failing fans. We're gonna have to look and see if our thermal paste is dried out on our CPU, or even a swollen laptop battery could cause the issue. These block airflow and trap heat. So clean it up, replace it, anything that's failing, and give your PC room to breathe. Okay, so now the part that everyone wants, the quick fixes, right? And there are a couple. Here's how to cool down your PC right now. First off, lift it up. Make sure you have a stand to improve airflow or a good area like my desktop, for example, up on the desk, nothing around it, lots of airflow. Laptop up on top of a stand so it gets airflow, right? Airflow is important. Uh, cooling pads are good. Again, laptop on a cooling pad that lifts it up, uh, especially for gamers out there. These are your best friends because your laptops are going to run really hot. And of course, the fans try to keep it cool, but they can't handle it all get a cooling fan to help it out. Skip the couch. Soft surfaces block vents, okay? Always use a hard surface. I know it's tempting to just set your laptop right on top of you over a blanket or on the couch. Just set it there, let it run. That's a bad, bad idea. Unfortunately, that blocks the fans and doesn't allow it to breathe. Cool the room down. AC is good, right? Desk fans can help as well. And keep your tech out of the direct sunlight. That can help a lot. And never ever leave your laptop in a hot car it'll cook faster than your leftovers so basically the best cure is the prevention all the methods we just talked about and you want to monitor your cpu temps we've talked about that in other videos you can use free tools out there like hw monitor or core temp or you know i personally like if you have an amd processor using the proprietary software like amd ryzen master monitor your cpu temperature while you're using your computer that could be a really good idea. Regularly cleaning the vents and the fans. Again, cleaning them out, spraying them out. Um, if we need to do a video on that, drop a comment down below. We can if you don't know how to clean out the inside of your computer. Update your software so your system isn't working harder than it should, right? Again, just keeping everything up to date. Software can cause the issue as well as hardware. So make sure that you keep it all up to date. Don't use too much at once if your system can't handle it and check regularly for those background apps. Doing reboot reboots on your computer will help with that. And if you want a little extra help, that's where My Computer Works comes in. We've helped thousands of people just like you with PC performance, keeping it cool, keeping it fast, making our clients happy, okay? So don't let summer heat slow you down. If this helped, hit that like and subscribe button below and share this video with a friend who has a laptop that sounds like a jet engine every time they open something up. Thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you on the next one.